Pauline Nye Ramasuhu ko as a Rwandan politician who was the Minister for Family Welfare and the Advancement of Women. She was convicted of having incited troops and militia to carry out rape during the Rwandan genocide of 1994. She was tried for genocide and incitement to rape as part of the Butare Group at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda in Arusha, Tanzania. In June 2011, she was convicted of seven charges and sentenced to life imprisonment. Naira Masuhuko is the first woman to be convicted of genocide by the ICTR and the first woman to be convicted of genocidal rape. Pauline Nai Ramasuhuko was born in the small farming community of Endra, in the province of Butare, to a poor Hutu family. She attended high school at the Ecole Social de Karubanda. There, she became friends with Agathe Habyarimana, the future wife of Yuvanal Habyarimana, who became president of Rwanda in 1973. Nai Ramasuhuko trained and worked as a social worker. In 1968 she married Morris Interhobali, with whom she had four children. One of their children, Arsan Shalom Interhobali, would later be sentenced by the ICTR for a role in the genocide. Nai Ramasuhuko worked for the government's Ministry for Social Affairs, educating women about health and childcare. In 1986, she attended the National University of Rwanda to study law. She was Minister for Family Welfare and the Advancement of Women in Habarimana's government from 1992. The Rwandan genocide started on 7 April 1994. Immediately following Habarimana's assassination, armed hutters were deployed throughout the countryside. They set up checkpoints to cull fleeing Tutsis from the rest of the evacuating crowds. Hutters who refused to participate in the genocide were attacked. At night, the residents of Butare watched the firelight from the hills in the west and could hear gunfire from nearby villages. When armed hutters gathered at the edges of Butare, citizens of Butare defended its borders. In response to the revolt, the interim government of Rwanda sent Pauline Nai Ramasuhuko from Kigali, the capital, to intervene in her hometown of Butare. She ordered the then governor to organize the killings. When he refused, he was killed and Nai Ramasuhuko called in militias from Kigali. On 25 April 1994, thousands of Tutsis gathered at the stadium where the Red Cross was providing food and shelter. Nai Ramasuhuko is said to have orchestrated a trap in the stadium. The Hutu paramilitary group Interahamwe, led by Arsan Shalom Interhobali, Pauline's 24-year-old son, surrounded the stadium. Refugees were raped, tortured, killed and their bodies were burned. Nai Ramasuhuko allegedly told militiamen, before you kill the women, you need to rape them. In another incident, she ordered her men to take cans of gasoline from her car and use them to burn a group of women to death, leaving a surviving rape victim as a witness. She left Rwanda in 1994 following the genocide and went to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. She was arrested in 1997 in Nairobi. Kenya, along with her son, Arsan Shalom Interhobali, the former Prime Minister Jean Kambanda, and eight others, her son had been running a grocery store in Nairobi. Her daughter-in-law, Beatrice Munyanyezi, fraudulently obtained political asylum in America the following year. She was sentenced to 10 years in the US in 2013 for her perjury relating to her denial of involvement in genocide. Nai Ramasuhuko was tried at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda from 2001 to 2011. She was the first woman to be brought to trial by an international tribunal. She was indicted the 9th of August 1999 on the charges of conspiracy to commit genocide, genocide, complicity in genocide, direct and public incitement to commit genocide, crimes against humanity and violations of Article 3 common to the Geneva Conventions and Additional Protocol 3. She pleaded not guilty to all charges. Nai Ramasuhuko stood trial before Trial Chamber 2 with five others as part of the Butare trial, which, at its start in 2001, included the highest number of defendants to be tried jointly in relation to the Rwandan genocide. Her son, Arsan Shalom Interhobali, was one of the co-defendants and was accused of having led Interahamwe forces 
closing arguments for the Butare case were heard the 1st of May 2009. According to prosecutor Holo Makwaya, Nai Ramasuhuko had intended to destroy in whole or in part the Tutsi ethnic group in Butare. On the 24th of June 2011, Nai Ramasuhuko was found guilty of seven charges including genocide and incitement to rape. She was sentenced to life imprisonment and will not be eligible to apply for parole for 25 years. She was acquitted of three further charges. Although other women have been convicted of genocide by Rwandan courts, Nai Ramasuhuko is the first woman to be convicted by the ICTR. Her son was also convicted and sentenced to life with no possibility of parole. Four other officials on trial received 25-year sentences.